talking about Sandoval. And again, the stuff is excellent. It's A stuff. But it's one thing to have A stuff, then corral it and learn what to do with it. That's exactly what has gone on. He's taken that A stuff, Gooby, and translated it into an effective starting pitcher. And he lost him. And he earned the walk, and the runner will move to third. So with two outs, that's certainly not what you were looking for. Mountcastle, for just the 17th time this year, walks. He's been difficult to walk. Here's the 3-2. It's a fastball, 96, overthrew it. Arm never was able to catch up with his body, so this is not what we have seen of late, but it's a three-walk first inning for Sandoval. So here is the left-handed hitting, D.J. Stewart. Sandoval against Stewart with the bases loaded. Got him! Slider firm over the outside corner. Oh, baby, did he make his own mess! But in the end, he cleaned it up. He needs to hydrate. Fourth start for Eshelman this season. And Fletcher greets him quickly with a ground ball through the left side. A base hit for David Fletcher, who's going to try to make a two, and he will. David Fletcher hot puts it out of the box. And a leadoff double, his 14th double of the season. So Joe Madden juggled the lineup today, and he moved Jared Walsh up to hit behind Shohei Otani. Let's see if they attack him. Otani goes down on a very slow breaking ball. He really backed off of that one. So Jared Walsh is the batter. He's hitting 284, 20 homers, 60 runs batted in. Walsh, rocket shot. Toward the corner it goes. Oh, it's just another day. And it's just another Jared Walsh. Extra base hit and RBI. Love the fact. He got the green light, knows the strike zone, knows those assortment of secondary pitches and still be quick enough on a fastball if he throws it, and he lines it in the corner for an RBI double. Gosling, left field. Oh, the goose is loose again. It's two to nothing. And the goose didn't exactly square that up, but he put it in play. Go to pitch, usually the changeup. He went with the fastball, it's on the ground. It may be very rewarding. Look at those two work together. Oh, baby. And Shohei Otani will be the next batter. One gone. Two to Shohei Otani. Center field, let's watch it go. That went 459 feet. Shohei Otani, 31 home runs. Tying Hideki Matsui's all-time home run mark for a Japanese-born hitter in the major leagues. 31 home runs. Shohei Otani, 459 center field. And he got that pitch, didn't move around, kept the feet still. And that great bat flip, by the way. He waited going down the line there with that bat flip. Number 31, Shohei. Wow. <laughs> Anthony Rendon sends that one toward the corner. Will Rendon enjoy it to her? He will! A home run for Anthony Rendon. Six on the year. You talk about someone needing to show that power just to get that swing together. He's been playing outstanding defense, but he hooks that one over the short wall in left field for Anthony Rendon. Six home runs, two home runs in the inning. Well, the halo is now up for the nothing. That was a pitch upstairs to Ryan Mountcastle. So three and two is the count. We'll do things like that. That's a strikeout. Down he goes. Change up. He's ready, and the next delivery in there is a swing and a miss. A slider gets Stewart. Struck him out for the second time. Counts full as Sandoval delivers. And that is a called third strike on a change up. Got him looking. And Sandoval strikes out the side in the inning. To the left-hander, Zach Lowther, making his fourth appearance. He does have one start so far. ERA elevated. Zach will be thrust into the midst of Shohei Otani. Mm -hmm. Got him swinging with a curveball. Lowther strikes out Otani. Here is Jared Walsh. Mm -hmm. And strike three. Down goes Walsh. 
Iglesias waiting on deck. Next pitch. This is lifted high and hit pretty well in the right field, but it's hanging up and making the catch on that one is Hayes, just a few feet from the rim of the track. The inning is over. So Anthony Rendon left today's game with left hamstring tightness. Renhifo with third base now. Urias in the left field, and Ramon Urias will get the Orioles on the board. Austin Hayes around to score. Trey Mancini to third, and Ramon takes second. An RBI double for Ramon Urias. Runners now on second and third with that double. DJ Stewart, a first pitch attack, and Stewart will bring in two. All the way to the wall for DJ to score Trey and Ramon. It's a two run double, it's a three run third, and the O's are right back within a run. Now, Cedric Mullins, after being announced as a first time All Star, will pinch hit for Austin Wins. Mullins, a little fister. This one will drop in for a base hit. The 100th hit of Cedric Mullins' 2021 season is his first officially as an All Star. A pinch hit single to tie the game in the sixth. And Kurt Suzuki, who's popped out to first and is also grounded out to shortstop. Suzuki hits a breaking ball out to left field. McKenna makes a great catch. Oh, Ryan McKenna, highway robbery at the warning track. Watch the jump straight away left field, cross over step moving, and watch lays out at the last second. And an outstanding play, and there is Cedric Mullins to pick him up. And I'm telling you, you won't see a better play than that today. Here is Cedric Mullins. Better be right with this hitter. Puts it in the air, right field, it is deep. This one's headed for the wall, and this ball is gone. Cedric Mullins clears the wall in right field, and the All-Star makes it 5-4 Orioles in the ninth inning. Mullins, the newly minted All-Star, puts the Orioles on top of the ninth. The Angels load the bases with nobody out. A hit here could win it. Fights that one off, drives it toward right center field. Mullins chases, it's down, up against the wall. Juan Ligares walks him off. It's an angel sweep. What a shot. Other way, walk off. 